question for you. As a huge AP advocate, how do you feel about what's going on in the floor? Um, I, and be honest, be brutal. Yeah, I think uh, there was a there was a quote I read someplace where you, where where you can ban books, you can later burn people. So if you think about the two examples, I mean, if people even know this shit, the two examples of fascism in the 20th century are Italy and Germany, right? Italy and Germany were democracies that failed. So what happens in a failing democracy is that there's things like economy that the government can't solve. So people start looking for the strong man that's going to promise them the moon, that's going to get them to the promised land. So when people mention, you know, when people on the left mention that this is an example of fascism, the classic, you check off the boxes. If you can start controlling access to information, I don't know if we did 1984 when I, when I had you. Uh, no. Yeah, we definitely so, did Frankenstein, Candide. So in 1984, there's a line that Orwell uses is that if you control the present, you control the past. You control the past, you control the future. So in Florida, when they start talking about African-American AP, and I knew that this class was coming for a while. And when the governor says there's no academic value to it, I mean, what does that tell you? Because you go from MAGA, but see now they're not even hiding it anymore. This is just flat out, let's make America white again. Right. And let's be upfront with the fact that not only do we not value people of color, but we don't value the history because what it's going to make Connor or, 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 or Aiden feel bad about shit that is like quantifiably. This stuff is all legit and all true. You know, like those I sent you those books a couple of weeks ago. Yes. Right. The one um, written by Oshinsky is just like it's it's there's there's no question that all this stuff happened. And I thought and, uh, you know, I was an AP advocate. You know, they, I was part of that position. I taught AP. But like the fact that the college board didn't go to Florida what I, in my mind, I thought the movie is this. The college board goes to Florida and say, look, we're going to decertify every one of your classes. So there's no AP in the whole state of Florida. So now all these swanky private schools or public schools in the suburbs where kids want these APs, they can't take them anymore. So what do they do? Magically, somehow the college board starts restructuring this AP African-American studies class. Now, if you can't do critical race theory in an advanced placement history class, you know, what's the point of even having it? So when DeSantis does this, this is all just I mean, I'm thinking this is like just upfront. We have we place no value on this. And frankly, we don't want to be reminded about what happened. We just want to move forward because I still think their assumption is that because Obama got elected, we're in a post racial society as far as they're concerned. I mean, you stop the average person on the street and ask them who who is George Floyd it might take a second, you know, depending upon where you are. So I thought that. I mean, it didn't it didn't surprise me knowing who DeSantis is, but the idea that especially those titles that I gave you and having, you know, I'm, I'm rereading, I'm reading the 1619 Project right now. And there's this moment. Can I ramble for a second? Please keep going. All right, so there's this moment when the colonies are starting to get labor from Africa. Right. So eventually what happens is you've got indentured servants who are Scottish, Irish coming over here. They work for seven years and then they get the freedom. Right. But now you start to have this source of labor that you got to pay for. But now the question is, is there a way we can kind of get around paying for it? And they come up with the system. European is a patriarchy. Right. So the idea of a child is born, then the child is classified based upon the father's lineage. Right. So what do they do in the colonies? They switch it. What allows slave owners to rape their slaves is the children born to those slaves would not be considered white. The master, they're going to be considered black, which is the female. And then what it allows you to do is to rape with impunity. They don't get a p possible inheritance because the land's going to go down to the firstborn son, right? Who's white. And at the same time, it allows them to rape women, have children that are born, and then they become property that they don't have to pay for. They get a little older and you send them to work. Now, this shit is all incontrovertible. Now, the fact that why someone would not want this taught in schools because you're worried about someone's fucking biorhythms or something is beyond me, but it's happening. And I'm, what I'm, I guess what I'm saying is when Orwell in the book 
If you're in charge and you can control access to information, you can control how people think. And also, if you start wiping shit away, if you get rid of that stuff, then someone's never going to read about it. And if you go a generation or two, never happened, right? I mean, that's why Spielberg did the Shoah Project. So he interviewed 100,000 survivors of the Holocaust. It's all recorded. Now, you could say that it never happened, but there's someone telling you about their time in Bergen-Belsen or their time in Auschwitz. So if you get rid of that record, then you erase history and then you get this whole American idea that now we're just going to move forward. Or you get a watered down fucking version of AP African-American studies that maybe people aren't going to want to teach because they're going to be watched like a hawk. And maybe a kid, even a white kid, maybe not want to take because he's going to be worried about how he's going to be viewed. So do I have thoughts on DeSantis? Yeah, I fucking do. That was a amazing analysis of what's going on in Florida. Um, Got a little carried I, away, I guess. Nah, that was perfect. It was the truth and it was real. Um, and what's going on there is very dangerous.